What's up you guys, back here with another video. I just wanna show y'all what I bought with my money for working over the summer. I spent some of my money on some baits and they finally came in. I'm gonna show y'all some of them and hope y'all like this video. This is the box of the baits. Let's see, uh, this is the first time I'm picking them out. I've seen the first couple of them, but here's some Blazing Worm XL. They're 7.25 inches, if you know, y'all wondering. Then here's the Mondo Worm, 10-inch Mondo Worm, black and blue flake. All, all these baits will be mainly for bass, but here's some Slim Shake Worms. There's like a, a eight inch uh, trick worm. Let's see, let's see. Here's some regular blazing worms, Texas tequila uh, color. Another pack of them blazing worms. And then some rattling eds, mud minnow color. Some good, good in Ned rig. Here's some more slim shaped worms. Eight inch again. Let's see. Some four inch trench hogs. These things will be good in the summer whenever they're getting slow. And then some green pumpkin crack and curls. Okay. That was all soft baits. Now we're moving on the hard baits, I think. Yeah, it should be. This is the Gookin Squad Scout. That's the pro blue color. Kind of a bit of a blue and translucent color. It's a jerk bait. Oh, here's a spinner bait. See, let me get the other one. I got two spinner baits right here, same color. Y'all are gonna be thinking, why do you need two of the same spinner baits? Well, they're not. See this one right here, how it's got two Colorado blades. These are called Colorado blades. To the fish, it's gonna sound like a thump, like a thump, like that. And then to the fish, these are this is gonna look more more of a flash instead of a thump. That's the difference of those two. And then. The Guggen Squad Mini Banger. It's a mini crankbait. Um, it's diving depth is one to four foot. It's pretty good for like smaller bass, bigger size bluegill, maybe really aggressive bluegill. This is a Guggen Squad Recon. It's eight to 12 foot deep diving crankbait. Um, Mondo Shad color. I think I'm gonna like this one. Um, let's see. Guggen Squad Micro Filthy Frog. Green pumpkin color. That's going to do good for small bass, really aggressive bluegill. I'm not planning to catch too many bluegill on that, but here's a Guggen Squad Popper. Bone color. It's for bass. You And it's top water bait. You just like jerk it. And it can make like a blup, blup kind of sound. It's the name of Popper. And then last hard bait, Micro Banger. Look at that thing. This is it compared to my pinky. It's really small. This would be for like really small bass and panfish. And then now we're moving on to terminal tackle. Got some. Guggen Squad drop shot weights, one fourth ounce. Got some seven ounce hooks. And things are big, I know. I'm gonna say, Lane, why do you need that big of hooks? I'll explain to you in just a minute. Some two pack of seven ounce hooks. And some slim shake heads. Uh, and all the different tackle, I got like two of. So. More slim jack heads, some rattling head heads for the thing. 
fine. Uh, two, uh, one, uh, four, one and four, one and four ounce bullet weights. And then, last pack of drop shot weights. That's all. Here's something else I bought with my summer money. It's a tackle box. It's a really big one, but it just fits all my stuff, so that's why I like it. I'll show y'all packing up all my new baits in my tackle box. Back here in the back room where all our hunting stuff and fishing stuff is. This is my bait wall. I'm going to put all my new baits on it. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See y'all in the next one.